What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test soda gadgets. This has got to be a part three I think. So anyways, let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget I got here easy to hold. Okay, let's see what it's all about. Obviously it's for a liter bottle or two liters. Those are the hardest one, especially if you injured or something like that. So let's open it up. Oh no, all the gas coming out. It's choking up, I just bought it. Oh well. So then you put this in I think and it's actually screws on, interesting. I wonder if it's actually going to hold and without any leakage. We're gonna put that to the test in a minute. Especially when it's carbonated and stuff. So you wanna close it all the way. And then we're going to close the same lid on top of this screw. Okay. And look at that. It is pretty easy to hold. A lot easier than grabbing this big bottle. I do have giant hands, it's a lot easier for me, but even for me, it's kind of awkward. With the handle like this, it is makes it a lot easier. And you know, pressure building up inside here, I'm shaking it up, even under pressure, it's holding all the soda inside. Wow, what an amazing gadget. So let's open it up. Just like a regular cup, release the gas, then open it. Now let's pour some in the glass. Okay, there goes nothing. Wow, look how easy that is. I love it. Without spillage, and I have a handle. No problem, two liters right here. Boom, close it. Once again, we're gonna put it to the test for leakage. No leakage happening. Wow, what an awesome gadget. I like it a lot. I think I will use it quite often. And you know what I like to do? I like to keep my Coke fresh, but look how much air inside there. So how do you remove the air? Well, I got the gadget for that as well. Obviously you can just fold it up, but at some point you cannot fold it up when it's even less than half. It'll be pretty annoying. Plus the bottle looks so ugly. Instead, you can get a gadget like that. Soda fresh. So what I'm gonna do is screw it on top of this gadget. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh wow, it works with both gadgets. And you see this bottle is loose right now. So what it is, is a pump. Now I can open it and pump it. And look at that. Instead of waiting till the feces goes inside and make the bottle a little stone, and, but you're going to lose all the feces out of your soda. You can pump it up with the air instead, and that way there'll be enough pressure for feces not to come up and stay inside of the soda. Wow, I never seen a pump like that. And at the same time, it actually looks really, really cool. Yeah, this is a little stone now. I like it. Let me pop it open just to show you what happens. You hear? This is just a vacuum air coming out, not the, even the feces. Do you see the cog didn't even form up at all? So if you want your so if you want your soda to stay feces longer, buy yourself this gadget. Pretty cool. But you know what? I have an even funnier one. Soda pump fizz ninja. And it actually looks like ninja. Let's see if it's actually going to get the bottle even thicker. So you see, there is soap bottle right now. And we're gonna screw in the ninja. Whoop! How do you pronounce ninja? Oh, you know what? It also opens like that, so you don't have to unscrew it every time. So I kind of like this one a bit better. You don't have to keep unscrewing, screwing it on, and you don't have to worry about where is your cup. You just put one of those things, pop it in all the way, and then just pump it. Just squeeze that ninja. Look, it has a samurai sword. Super cool. Let's see if I can pump it up even stronger than the other one. You know what, it's a lot easier to pump than this gadget and it looks funnier. Okay, that is a really, really stone. 
So now if you want soda, all you have to do is just press it like that and look how much vacuum there was. All the air went inside and soda didn't form up at all. And this is brand new soda. And look at that, if I pour it inside of the glass, look how much fizzes there are. Awesome. I kind of like this pump a bit better actually. Close it, pump it up again, and it takes quite a bit to pump up, but with this gadget it makes it pretty easy, because it has this big ball. Super cool, keeping this gadget for sure. This fizz saver works really good with the bottles, but you may ask, what if you want to do the same thing with the can? I have a gadget for that too. Boom, check this out. Can pump, but first of all, my finger kind of hurts. How do I open it? And you know how you have to push it with this one? I cut my finger, I don't want to cut it even worse. I have a gadget for that too. Couple of uh, can openers. So all you have to do, I'm pretty sure, just type it in like this and pull it forward and push it back. Simple. Let me try to do another one. Fold it and obviously you can push it back with your other finger. Works really good, especially if thumb or one of your fingers is hurt. Or you have a really long nails that you don't wanna break on a soda. Now let's say you only took off a half a can, how do you save the rest? Well, you get the pump like this and it's gonna go over the can like that. Boom. And then, whoop, that was a bit of fail. Let's try this again. Like this, and then it close. So, you know what? It actually don't go over, it slides right on top of it, on top of this rim. And then you pump it. Ooh, yeah. You can already tell it's getting stronger. Oh, you know what? I didn't close it all the way. Do you see it clicked all the way? Oh yeah, I can feel now it's really pumping quickly. Oh yeah, this is nice. I like how you can just push it with your finger. Oh yeah, I cannot push anymore almost. This is very, very nice. Now, the spill test. What happens if I shake it up? Ooh, wow, it didn't pop open. Usually those lids pop open. Oh, I hear a little bit of a fizz, but still, it survived. Whoa, do you see how much pressure it was holding? So this is, ouch. This is the best fizz saver for the can. I never seen better. Close it all the way. Press whole bunch of stuff. Now the can is a really, really stone. You see how easy to squish this can? And this one, I'm squeezing. It has lots of pressure, it will save your fees. Really cool gadget, I like it a lot. And whenever you're ready to drink it, just open it and sip from it. You can just turn it like this, so that way you can sip from here. Very cool invention. Also, if you don't care about saving pieces, but just wanna Close it off from the bees, you see? Don't kill the bees though. They're really hard to keep alive and they die all the time. You know, I'm a beekeeper. But yeah, so this side here, so the bees and wasp don't fly in. You can just slide it in like that. Actually, you know what? I put it the wrong way. You're supposed to put it down this way and then there's a little groove. You see it? It goes inside and right here it tells you which way to close it. Pretty interesting design, I like it a lot. And you can use this to, to close it and it keeps it pretty closed. It's not waterproof as you can see, but that way it keeps all the bees away and stuff. Then you can turn it again. I don't know, pretty cool gadget. Would you use it? Let me know in comments below. For the next gadget, I got here soda can stacker. Little silicone trace like that. And let me show you how to use them. So if you put the whole case of soda into
to the refrigerator it just takes up too much space look at that okay look how much space this whole layer of soda would take in the refrigerator so this is why you can stack them high it just goes like this one two three four then second one you put it on top like that didn't come with any kind of description or instruction so I'm trying to figure it out how it works you know what this way is the most safest and I guess you can just stack them up like this and they will hold that's pretty cool and check this out now instead of taking up all the flat surface you can just take up a little of a refrigerator also I'm pretty sure you could use just one tray on the bottom one two three four that way it's even safer it's definitely not going to spill over look at that and then once you run out of space you can lay second one on the refrigerator I think that's the best way to use them so that way it takes up way less space in case you don't like stacking soda like that, you can get this kind of stacker. Okay, let's put them all in and it doesn't matter where you're going to put them because it's so cool. You can just spin it and they're all going to move around. And it sits in front of the refrigerator. So let's say you take one and then you can just spin it and then you can take another one take another one take another one and you see this one's so farther now you can spin it and they'll all come to you you see what I'm saying or if you have different type of sodas you can spin them to the one that you desire super super cool gadget I really like that one a lot Let's see how many it can hold one two three four five six seven eight nine cans Look at that, and there is a handle too, you can grab it and carry it with you. Well guys, that's pretty much it, let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.